Very similar, don't me we? Too. Yeah, yeah. The red and yeah, the yeah. brown. Yeah, yeah, it's heavy. I see yeah. it. I just forgot my glasses. Yeah. There we go. Cool. So, Ellie, come on. I love it. I mean, first of all, I didn't know there was one. I think they, how many years have been, a couple years they've been doing this? Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. They've been treating us really nice. The energy of the people, people are really nice. I think everybody's really happy to get back to be able to do something like this. And I just like meeting people, so it's a perfect scenario to do that. It worked yeah. out great for you. And yeah. It's so weird with this. Sure, but I'm just gonna go with it and play along. Probably has something to do with safety or whatever. It, Next it, year it's a free for all. I exactly, think. Yeah. exactly. Um, so you're still doing work all. Can you tell just wrapped. Me? Just wrapped. Season three. Can you tell, season three. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Can you tell us yeah, sure. If you get me, if I had one drink, then I'd spill some stuff I'm not supposed to, but right now I'm cool. Um, it's the best season we've done. <laughs> it's funny because that's really all I can say. Because we're not allowed. There's people coming back that you wouldn't think are coming back that were in season one and season two. We got a new character named Charlie who's uh, played by Ann Winters. And it's just, um, you know, more adventures and. I don't know, man. It's it, we've, Seth MacFarlane's just one of those people that just tries to one-up himself, and you never think he can, because how can you do And he has. He really has. I'm literally filming a pickup shot on Tuesday, and we come out in March, so we're still kind of filming to make it better and better and better, because that's who he is. You guys have such great chemistry, you and Seth. I mean, the way you guys bond. That comes from American Dad, kind mm -hmm. of. That comes from uh, there, us doing that for so many years, and I know that, I know his humor so well, yeah. and he knows that I can kind of maybe say the words that he writes the way he wants to say them, because it's really all it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're just doing what Seth would do anyway, if it's you can play all the characters. It's just comedy, yeah. if you can get it. Yeah. Exactly. This year, this season three is a little bit more um, dramatic and serious, as okay. far as like science fiction, uh, so it's not, it's not weighted in the comedy we did in the past, but people, I think people like that, and they wanted the show to be Become a little bit more like the Star Trek. To be yeah, honest with you, it, it is. I'm not allowed so. to say that. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. Hey, um, speaking of which, um, are you okay? I'm okay. Did you hurt yourself? No, it's okay. You're bleeding. This. I'm it's kidding. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay. It's just clear. All right. So let's go back to that. Uh, what we were just talking about energy and stuff. Um, as a performer, um, we always want to try to find a balance ourselves when it comes to spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. Especially as actors, I just want to know. I love your positive energy. What is your self esteem when it comes to keeping that positive mindset energy, especially in this industry and your profession? It's not so much a routine. It's something I think I've had my whole life. I think I learned it from my dad and my mom, but mostly my dad. I just. I like to be, it's a little selfish to be honest with you because I like to be kind to people because what I feel, when I'm kind to people, they're kind to me back, so that's what I, and I really get off on that. I love when people are nice back. That's what that, they agree with me. They agree with me. So it's, I always struggle with how selfish that is. You know, when you give somebody a compliment and they smile and then you feel good, did I do that to be selfish? But they're like, no, no, you're still being nice to people. So my whole routine is just, you know, treat people uh, how you would want to be treated. That's a cool adage right there, but um, I just like to be kind to people because it makes me feel good. You know? That's my whole my whole life, you know, and if somebody comes up and wants your autograph or wants to talk to you, that's my pleasure because they're, as long as they're nice. You know? I've had people in the past not be so nice, uh, but that's just who they are and try to keep positive energy out there and you get it right back. You look at us. It works. Yeah. See, it works. Exactly. Me, I we are. Back to you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so it's always an honor to play all these characters um, and you get a lot of attention from all the time. How do you handle that responsibility and also interacting with your fans at the same time? Especially in this day and age, with social media. I mean, like I just said, I mean, how I handle it, I don't feel, I don't like, I try to break down that wall between maybe someone that's a fan and someone, you know, and you're, how you have to be. I treat everybody the same, you know. And, and I learned that from people that I've worked with, like Tom Hanks, Hugh Jackman, and I, and I specifically say those guys because just with their energy, they. They are so nice to people that they take away whatever that thing is that people want to touch them. <laughs> They're like super fanatics, they take it away. So when like Hugh Jackman walks in a room, people don't freak out because he's just nice to everybody and other thing. So you try to break down that wall that separates a, a 
what they call a celebrity from just the person that is celebrating them. Uh, and I find that that's how I handle. And also remember this: I'm not Brad Pitt. People are people are, are sure? clamoring. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. I looked in the mirror this morning, and I'm sure I'm not. Um, but. <laughs> But, 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 <laughs> yeah, he's not here, is he? <laughs> um, but we got Scott Grimes. So the people are so people are genuinely kind to yeah. me, you know. Um, and I that's I, I feel like that's I that's lucky for myself. You know, people aren't poking at me. You know? <laughs> what can we expect from you in the future? Anything else in the pipeline that you can share with us? I mean, I'd love to do another season of Orville. I just, I'm doing a movie called Beneath the Fold. I start that in New York in January. Yeah. Uh, so just, just should be working, you know. An American Dad um, just got picked up for two more years, so I'll get to do that. Do a bunch of music on that. So I'm just trying to stay busy. And as long as you know, I'm in my, I'm 50 years old now. So as long as people want to hire me, I'll show up. You know. And hey, I hope we get to see you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate all the work. Art imitates life with this guy. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for joining us and joining our show and coming to LA Comic Con. Is there any other cons that we should check out for you? No, not, not right now. I don't know. But stay, uh, stay uh, social with them. Stay, yes, please. Yeah, please stay in touch with him. And uh, other than that, Scott, thank you so much. Thank you for and, having uh, me. I'm Michelle Duval with Scott Grimes, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks, y'all.